Check it out. What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I got a lot on my plate today. As everybody's been seeing, I've been working on dirt bikes like crazy. We got ready for that event. We went to the event. Jake kicked some serious butt. Seth finished his first hair scramble and I finished my first hair scramble. And I'll tell you what, this morning I was sore. I loved absolutely every minute of the hair scramble, but the pain that I went through yesterday was nothing compared to what I woke up to this morning. My back was aching like crazy. I googled massage places. After my Google search, I got so paranoid that I just forgot about that idea. I was excited to get a massage, but after that Google search, no, no, no. Didn't like the results. I wasn't feeling lucky. You know the old classic Google where you clicked I'm, I feel lucky, that button? There was like two, two options, I think. A lot of you guys probably don't remember that. Maybe Google still does it, I'm, I'm not too sure. But one thing's for certain, it threw me off. Saying that, I offered my brother some monetary, well, some money to, to massage me. He gladly accepted it, he gave me a 20 minute massage and I really appreciated it. And I did feel better, I do feel better. So thank you, Cole. A lot of things have happened the last couple days. A lot of messes have been made the last couple days. I have a huge, just a huge object in my way. The BMW hood. That, that continues to have the wrong hinges on it. I do, I think I have the right hinges in. I think. Not sure if we're gonna get that far today. See, when you work on dirt bikes and hang out with your friends a lot, and you're on a crazy time crunch, you don't finish as much as you wanna finish. And like I said, messes will be made. That whole toolbox. This huge toolbox filled with my nice welder, my tools. Like this drawer alone right here probably weighs probably more than 50 pounds, uh, just, maybe just under 50 pounds. This drawer probably weighs a good 25, this drawer weighs a good 10. But what ended up happening, my sister was doing an oil change and she didn't tell me. I came home from my girlfriend's apartment and here she is with her car and I see the garage doors open. Here I got the heater on so she's letting heat out. You know, I, I completely understand, she probably didn't know. And that's okay, I wasn't, I wasn't upset about that. She did the oil change, I was very proud of her. I showed her a couple tricks. But what she didn't tell me, and what she tried not to let me know was, she actually tipped over that toolbox. Here, I tipped it over 24 hours later, and she goes, well I tipped it over before too. So she actually caused me to tip it over the second time because what ended up happening was, this welder moved forward, which put extra weight on this side, and then all my tools, here, I'll open this and try not to tip it over. But all my tools were on this edge. All these tools were on the edge. All these tools were on the edge. See how this drawer is pretty big? See how all that space up there? And all the tools are right here. That puts a lot of weight there. Luckily, my sister is a very strong girl. And she picked this thing up. At least that's what I think. Because it was even difficult for me to re-tip it back up after I tipped it over. And it looks like, you know, this isn't the most expensive thing, but it looks like the, the doors don't have the same gap, so it's crooked. Now that I look at this, these are bent. You see how that's off-centered? But this is the key where the truth is the best. If my sister just came up to me and said, hey, I flipped over your toolbox, I would have totally accepted it. I wouldn't have been upset. I would have just said, hey, did you put the tools back? She tipped it upright, which was awesome but she didn't put the tools back where they belonged. She kind of just left them sitting on the edge. Next time, little sister, pay a little bit more attention. Unfortunately, winter's gonna be here very soon. There are some benefits that come with winter, but the, the whole cold thing really sucks. I, I dislike cold very much. And when you're going from the grass cutting season and the maintenance season to the just, you know, get a snowblower out once in a while or a shovel, or a snowmobile, you gotta prepare things like this. Like the edger, the weed whacker number one, weed whacker number two, and the leaf blower. So I wanna do those things today. I wanna winterize everything so that I can get it out of my way, get it out of the garage, and so that it will be ready for next season. Number one, lawnmower. It's actually already pretty low on gas. I wanna run it completely out, so we'll just run it. We're gonna have snow over the grass soon enough, so who cares if the grass looks like crap, right? That's my opinion. Probably won't be my mother's, but. But YOLO.
It just stalled out. Just stalled out. Now you guys know how we like to joke around us guys when we're going to the gas station or we're getting fuel of some sort. We always say, oh, this thing doesn't run on hopes and dreams. It's just a joke around. This thing runs on hopes and dreams. This thing, this gas tank has been bone dry for the last 15 minutes. And it continued to run. We are never selling this lawnmower, ever. If this was a car, it would get like 200 miles of the gallon. NFS, not for sale. That mower literally took so much time that I had enough time to get Weed Whacker number two out, Weed Whack, run it completely out of gas, and that thing continued to run. You have got to be kidding me. Thank you, Lawnmower Kings, thank you. I guess we can bust out Weed Whacker number one. <laughs> You guys know how I am with weed whackers. I kind of have a problem. I mean, a concern. The string's not coming out, which is causing the string to be extremely short and not really cut efficiently. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. If not, then this thing's gonna be winterized quicker than expected. Hopefully that fixed it. There got there was some tarp that got in there. My camera got some too, there's some grass on the lens. I got three out of the five pieces of equipment all winterized. Gonna work on the edger next. I went inside to clean you guys up. Well, the lens so that you guys can see. And while I was inside, Seth gave me a ring and he said he got some word from the Jeep. The guy's at the Jeep shop and uh, the slave cylinder shop. I figured it was the slave cylinder or there was a leak in the hydraulic line or the bleeder screw came undone and kind of let some brake fluid out because I think that's what it uses. But anyways, he's gonna get that all situated, so that's good. He'll have a Jeep. We won't have to drive to Buffalo to go pick up Seth from now on. But it is a Jeep. I'm sure I offended a lot of Jeep owners just there. You guys know you can own whatever you want. I have my opinions, you guys have yours. Trust me, I know you guys have yours. There's a comment section right below. That's why you gotta get yourself an edger. It does make nice crisp lines. The day's just started and it's already been extremely busy. Look at how dirty that bike is from yesterday. Still can't get over that. It's been busy because I wanted to sleep in last night. I went to bed at nine. I should have went to bed way earlier than that. I'm sure Seth and Jake smoked me to bed. I'm sure they went home and went right to bed, take a nap, whatever the hell they did. But I went to bed at nine. I wanted to just sleep in till probably 10 or 11. My mom knocks on my door. Hey, can you help your sister fix her battery? Her car is not starting. Let me explain her car. Now on a classy BMW, the battery's in the back, just like the Cobalt. And see, you got this nice little press button and it opens with ease. No electronics, no bull crap. If you wanted to lock it, you could put your key in there, unlock it, and then do the same process that I, did, that I just did. Push it and pull up. And then you could hook up your battery, or if it was dead, then you could hook up some drummer cables. Hers, no, nothing like that. Hers, on the other hand, has an electronic disengage button, or trunk opener, whatever you wanna call it. So when her battery goes dead, she pushes that button, and the trunk doesn't open, which means she can't get jumper cables on there, which means she can't get any, so it was just a huge pain. She has a lock mechanism, but it doesn't work. It doesn't have the classy push button though, like the BMW does. And of course the lock doesn't work, so she couldn't open it that way. So next to her fuse box, there was like a, just like this. There was a lead like this, a red lead, that hooks up to her battery eventually. So I put the jumper cables there, and then put it on a ground, like something like this, or you know, any anything shiny. And then what ended up happening was she had enough power that she could push her electronic trunk opener, open her trunk, and then we could get the jumper cables on the actual battery. 
Then we jumped it, and then I was up for the day. So it actually kind of was a blessing. I got I got to start kicking today's butt.